Sa punto pong ito, makakasama natin live mula po rito sa bayan ng Baclayon. Wala pong iba kundi ang gobernador ng probinsya ng Bohol, si Governor Edgar Chato. Magandang gabi po, Gov. Magandang gabi, Jessica. Magandang gabi. Oh, first things first po, uh, yung mga kailangan i-rescue, ilan pa ho ang kay uh, kailangan i-rescue? May mga nawawala pa po bang kailangan hanapin? Paano po? Meron tayong mga 23 individuals na inahanap pa ngayon. Uh, pat patuloy yung ating retrieval operations then uh, we have the statistics already to about 144 uh, number of persons uh, dead and then uh, we also have a 180 plus something na uh, uh, injured that uh, who are admitted to the different hospitals uh -huh. in the province of Bohol. Ang mahirap po dito Gov, I understand, yung mga bayan na kailangan kailangan ng tulong ay eh, isolated naman itong uh, mga bayan ng uh, Loon at uh, Maribohok. May mga kasama ho kami kanina sa eroplano ng mga MMDA rescue. Kaso it's a problem yata getting to these places. Paano po kaya ito? Uh, technically yes, but we found a way of how to get them there. Uh, we have two teams of MMDA already uh, sent by uh, Chairman Francis Torrentino. Yung isang team na una sa kanila and yung pangalawang team uh, is already there. No? So we have to take them by boat uh, dahil yung access roads nga ay medyo uh, sira. So kailangan nating uh, hanapan ng ibang paraan. Uh, sinubukan namin pumunta rin going to uh, Luon and, uh, and uh, Maribohok using a different route. So while these towns used to be only 15 kilometers 15 minutes away from the Tagbilaran City. Now you can travel there by one hour and a half using another route. No? So medyo oh. aabot pa rin naman yung ating mga uh, tulong sa kanila. Uh, lately, nakahanap nga ng paraan. So nandun na yung ating mga supplies. Umabot na rin sa kanila. Nandun na rin yung ating MMDA teams. Especially in Luon, na yung retrieval ay eh, patuloy pa rin hanggang ngayon. Opo. Papaano po kaya yung mga napilitang uh, umalis sa kanilang mga tahanan, Gov? Uh, at, o kaya yung mga natatakot na hong bumalik sa kanilang bahay? Marami ho kaming nakitang mga nakatira sa mga tent. Uh, I suppose they need evacuation centers, food, uh, relief goods, etc. Actually, uh, immediately after the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the earthquake, Uh, the first thing that we did was to immediately establish the provincial disaster teams and the municipal teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had the provincial board no, declare the whole province as a state of calamity. So the initial relief operations were started by the uh, local government units. And then uh, yung uh, pagtutulong doon, uh, initially by the local government units, ngayon, pumasok na rin yung national uh, government mm -hmm. na tulong. So, Uh, pag, uh, about the tents that uh, the, the tent cities sort of uh, in, hindi kayang bigyan ng tent lahat ng mga tao so nasa open spaces sila uh, if you travel to the towns na, nandun sila sa mga eskwilahan sa tabi lang ng bahay basta open space uh, mm -hmm. hanggang meron pang uh, aftershocks I think some people would really prefer to stay out of, of mm -hmm. their homes no? but uh, uh, we are establishing the command center for the relief goods so mm -hmm. that they can be provided with relief goods both in the province, the city, as well as in the municipal levels. Okay, ang power ho, ang kuryente, hindi na po problema, Gov? Uh, meron pa rin power problem in certain areas of the province but uh, during the visit of uh, President Noy Noy kanina, kasama niya si uh, Secretary Almendras who assured us that uh, very soon the, the power supply will be restored province-wide. Uh, sabi niya kanina 75% mm -hmm. covered na daw ng power but mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was traveling to other towns na wala pang uh, kuryente. Maribok is also reported na wala mm -hmm. pa rin kuryente. Uh, that was also reported to us by Secretary Almendras kanina. Pero maharapan daw ng paraan ng oh. mabilisan itong ma-restore. Well, if we have power then we'll have no problems with water. But if there's no power The, the other problem of water would come into place. Okay. Mukhang malaking pera ho ang kailangan, Gov, dito po sa damage na nangyari dito sa inyong buong probinsya and so many towns na napinsala. Eh, papano ho kaya yan? Eh, suspended din po ang uh, pork barrel funds. Ano ho ang sabi ng Pangulo sa inyo? Where will the money come, uh, uh, come from para national, po sa rehabilitation ng inyong probinsya? The national government, in fact, uh, it was very good that the President really came. Uh, personally, dahil uh, yung presence niya, presence ng cabinet members mm -hmm. and the discussions that happened uh, pointed out to the specific areas na kailangan ng tulong, both infrastructure, the social development side mm -hmm. and even the healthcare as well. Secretary mm -hmm. Ona also came in later after the president left 
So itong mga ito, uh, tutulungan na lang ito sa national government mm -hmm. and the local uh, government uh, units as well. Uh, it's good also that we are receiving information from foreign uh, agencies, mm -hmm. uh, even by private sectors, who are willing to help the province of all. We have quite a number of partners in the province who are also willing to help the province. Okay. Ang nakakalungkot lang ho para sa marami, no? even for me personally, I know uh, Bohol did its very best to preserve ito pong mga heritage churches natin. In other provinces, in other towns, yung mga luma binabago except in Bohol. Talagang pinahalagahan po. And then this happened. Paano po kaya itong mga cultural treasures natin? Uh, have you even started to think uh, of a plan? Paano kaya? I suppose yung mga churches na na flat out, wala na hong ano doon, you just have to build them, no? Pero itong mga like uh, this uh, church sa likod po natin, itong baklayon, I think it can still be restored and reconstructed. That is right. Uh, the sad uh, part of it is that uh, the people in Bohol has really loved uh, the advocacy of preserving the churches, uh, yung ating mga heritage preservation programs talagang malakas dito sa probinsya partnership ng ating simbahan at saka ng government naman ay uh, nandiyan din. Uh, uh, Secretary Jimenez was already in touch with us about uh, the aspects of uh, how we can preserve and restore uh, the, uh, the, the uh, relics that have been uh, affected by the earthquake. And uh, we have also discussed uh, matters with the uh, bishop uh, himself. Tomorrow we will be having a meeting also with the uh, side of the clergy Mm -hmm. even by the national uh, level of uh, the Catholic Church, who has been also uh, very concerned in uh, helping the preservation efforts uh, on this church. And not mm -hmm. only helping, but leading. Kasi uh, sa church yung mga simbahan natin. But uh, we are hoping that, uh, uh, the President also mentioned it earlier, that as long as there are no, uh, there is an ongoing research on whether or not funds can really be uh, channeled also for uh, those purposes, as long as they are declared as historic national historical uh, commission uh, heritage uh, uh, buildings or heritage mm -hmm. churches uh, treasures national treasures so to speak so uh, if they have this declaration most likely pwedeng mag uh, pa partnership yung gobyerno okay. at saka yung estado ay yung uh, suppose, simbahan. Gov, if there's a lesson to be learned dear ano eh kasi nga naman nung araw eh wala hong bakal itong mga simbahan natin dito dahil eh, puti puti lang po ng itlog yung ipinagdikit nila at saka diami and yung uh, pulang asukal molasses uh -huh. so i suppose now pag ni-rebuild ito lalagyan na syempre ng bakal stronger now with the modern <laughs> technology that we have now yeah. uh, yung advocacy lang natin ngayon as i discussed also with the bishop mm -hmm. earlier Uh, yung mga ano yung natira mm -hmm. dapat uh, wag uh, makunan wag manakaw wag, wag madala sa ibang lugar because it's easier to restore if the original materials are still there okay yes. i suppose you need stronger churches to match, to match yes. the <laughs> strong faith of the boholanos that maraming, right. salamat that po, right. Bob. maraming salamat we then. wish you all the luck and uh, in the meantime uh, Good luck po sa inyo. You, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Thank you very Thank much, you very much. for your Thank time. You Thank you also. Thank you, Jessica.